As the old adage goes, health is wealth. Indeed, a health population is key to the country's economic growth. Since labor productivity is directly linked to the health well-being of the workforce. Health is well placed as number 3 on the list of sustainable development goals and the declaration emphasizes that to achieve the overall health goal countries must achieve universal health coverage and access to quality health care for the case of Uganda the process of developing a national health insurance scheme bill was initiated in 2002 following a feasibility assessment by Makerere University Public Health Institute and Harvard University School of Public Health but how does the national health insurance scheme work so national health insurance as we talk about it will be the best way to bring funding in a collective pool where the sick will be subsidized by those who are healthy as you see insurance it's not a tax it's a premium you will pay uh, 100000 shillings a person and you get a card everybody brings an amount of money that is agreed and you create a great pool so that when you are sick you just pull out your card over the, at the hospital and you are treated so i don't know how best i can say what is the importance of national health insurance like by saying that it will save the world ugandans and everybody the catastrophic expenditure of selling our property and everything and getting ruined into total poverty to struggle to have treatment after so many years of waiting the bill was passed on march 31st 2021 Unfortunately, it was not assented to by the president allegedly on grounds that some issues had not been reconciled including the concern by employers that contributing for workers would increase on their operational costs. Well, according to the information we got, I think the main issue uh, was that uh, the president was uh, giving more time to the ministry to discuss and engage with the stakeholders who had not been satisfied with the version that parliament passed and uh, we also know that the minister of health during the passing had also raised the same concerns that there were some people who were still having issues <coughs> so this the, the 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 main group we know we had is that they were the manufacturers Uh, the employers who were thinking and arguing that the bill as it had been passed would increase the cost of doing business on their part when you look at private sector insurers as well as private sector non health general manufacturers and so forth the national health insurance is very welcome the question comes into how is it structured and i think that the, that is the discussion we've been having with the ministry of health Uh, over the last year and a half to make sure we come to a meeting point where we are in agreement to be able to move together because we're all in agreement we need a national health insurance scheme so some of the concerns that were there in the previous draft of the bill were that the cost of employment would be high because of the national health insurance and that was boiling down to the fact that as a country we have very few people in formal employment we have very few tax uh, contributors and we have very few people that you can identify and find to say you need to contribute into the national health because they're in the informal sector and so the question was can we leave the employer from contributing and the employee who is the beneficiary contributes to the national health insurance scheme and the ministry of health agreed to that now people can say but all the other countries the employer is contributing but if they look carefully at the journeys of all those countries the employer wasn't contributing from day one it started off with the beneficiary contributing and as the scheme grew and as the scheme evolved then the employer came in and that is what we're proposing as a country let us start off with the beneficiary the employee who's going to use that scheme to contribute however private health service providers are pushing government to ensure that the national health insurance scheme is in place because it is being looked at as a redeemer to the country's health sector
The proposed national health insurance scheme will, according to private health providers, improve on availability of essential medicines. The Ministry of Health reaffirms commitment to ensure that the country has a national health insurance scheme in place. Following the return of the National Health Insurance Scheme Act, and the reason being that time had elapsed for the old bills of the tennis parliament, uh, and if they found that bill had not been assented to, by law it was supposed to be returned. So it was returned and what we're doing now is to make sure that it is resubmitted. And the status is we use that opportunity to make sure that if there are any things that were not very clear or not agreed upon in the previous bill that had been passed, we we'll use it to make sure that it is uh, cleared and that's what we've been doing, getting to fine-tune the bill and make sure that everybody is on board so that it can be submitted. In a country like Uganda, where less than 5% of the population is covered by insurance, it is crucial that the legislative arm of government implements policy regimes that facilitate access to universal health coverage, such as the National Health Insurance Scheme.